Dream collab, collab. Like you used to collab with, with artists. What would be a dream collab? A real artist? I would have to say. I mean, everybody's a real artist, right? I, I would have to say probably <laughs> Lola Brooke. I love yeah, her. You said, you said nuts. I, I would have to say Lola Brooke. She gives off that energy, that that rough like I'm pretty, but I'm rough. That's the type of that's the type of time I be on. Yeah, that's that Brooklyn energy. Yes, I love dope. dope. You know, she's been showing love. Since we started, she's been showing love, support, and helping us do some things, you know, that, that's hard for us to do on our own. Like, she looks out. She's definitely showing us, you know, what it's like to be independent artists, you know, I'm doing with uh, fire. And then everybody else was coming, you know, and she had her her, her ladies of um, R&B, you know, but I claimed first lady. I claimed that title. So, yeah, I'm, I decided to just step on that. That's mine. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, is there any speaking about R&B? Because you did mention, you know, like that R&B artist. Do you have any R&B artists that you would want to work with? Um, so many of them. Like I, I'm still in the Keisha Cole era. Like I, I, I would love to just do something with Keisha Cole. Like, I'm on Fifty Cent's top. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. The acting or whatever. Yeah, I did actually. Um, so I looked at your YouTube, and you, 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 you got a big personality. I do. <laughs> I do. I can get silly. I, as soon as the camera come on. I fit for the scene. I'm like a chameleon. I, I just like to make people smile. I've been like that since a, a kid. And then I get to the moments where I'll come in a room full of people and won't speak. But it's not that I'm being arrogant or I just don't want to talk to nobody. I'm taking notes. Hey, you you know? Read in the room. Especially mm -hmm. in the industry where men try to finesse them. Oh. oh. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been in them situations too. You just gotta, you gotta be strong. You gotta be strong. You gotta be confident. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to say no. You know, if you, if you've been a person who's, who's had a hard time with peer pressure, you're going to fall. You're really going to fall. You got to like literally put your foot in the nets and they mouths. You got to literally go in there with a bougie ass attitude. You got to go be stuck up. You know what they say? You know what they say? Where guys be like, you know, I'd rather have, um, I'd rather a, a guy say, I'd rather have 10 bricks before 10 bitches. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can make money off them bricks. You can't make money off them bitches. And it's the same for the men. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'd rather have, I'd rather get this money, you know? Gonna do never drag you down so you gotta you gotta be confident you gotta be willing to to, to just walk away and I, i've learned that sometimes guys like them ones that can't be touched you know it's i'm turning out drinks and everything i'm cool i'm gonna drink my ginger ale and i'm gonna buy you a drink and i'm gonna walk away from you and i'm gonna keep doing my thing and won't speak to you again because i'm confident i only i don't need you i, I, I like I think that's I think that would actually hurt a man's ego. Like he tried to offer to buy you a drink. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll buy you a drink though. Yeah, and you know what? And that's probably that that's and I'm not gonna say it's why I do it, but I just wanna let them know, like at the end of the day, I could be like you. I could be like you, but on a different term. So whatever thought you had in your mind when you was offering me that drink and you thought you was gonna get it at the end of this night, I'm gonna give it to you and I'm gonna show you that I don't want nothing from you. Cause that's how it should be. I've been doing op proof now for about three years. What is it? Um, it's called op proof. Like, um, oh, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's called I proof where, um, I'm finally getting it rolling, but I did, you know, I did a trial about a, a year or so ago where I was selling t-shirts, you know, just see how I like, how everybody liked it and it was going well. So this year, um, the confidence merchandise and the I proof merchandise will be a go for sure. For sure. I'll tell you one thing though, you just gained a new fan. Absolutely. Thank you.